Hello, Weiwei Games here. Um, I wanted to make a quick video going over my current legacy Windows XP uh, gaming uh, setup I've got going here. I'll start with the monitor. I uh, picked this up on uh, Kijiji from a, a guy who's just giving away some old computer stuff. It's a Cicero Perfect Flat E217, I believe. Um, pretty good monitor. Gives some pretty nice resolutions. Uh, I think when you're playing with this era of gaming, it you definitely want the old CRTs. Just feels uh, more authentic. Um, the reason I built this uh, computer was to run this guy, Doom 3. Um, I had to play it on the original Xbox, which is pretty darn good port, all things considered. But the uh, the original just looked a lot better and it had some some more areas that they had cut for the uh, Xbox release. And it's just an absolute classic game. Um, and I really wanted to build a legacy Windows XP machine that could run it. That was the whole um, objective I had in mind when I made my computer. Uh, we'll go over what's in the computer and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so this is the uh, computer I'm using. It's my family's old uh, e-machines, T6412. I'll zoom in on some of the uh, the stock stuff it had, and we'll go over what I upgraded. Um, the memory's been increased to 2 gigabytes from the 512 this thing came with. I still have the original hard drive. I wiped it just so I could put uh, just video games and stuff on there. And I've upgraded the video card because it just had the, like the integrated stock uh, Radeon Express 200, which I think was a 128 megabyte uh, card or a 64 megabyte card. I can't quite recall. I'd have to look it up. Uh, it played some games pretty well. I remember playing Stalker on this thing, Stalk back uh, back in the day, uh, on low settings, but it ran. It worked. And um, the Athlon 64 uh, 3400 Plus processor. It's 2.2 gigahertz, but these Athlons really kicked ass back in the day. Um, so that's... It ran more the equivalent of like a... Um, um, oh my god, a Pentium uh, 2.8 or 3 uh, gigahertz processor. These Athlons kicked ass. Alright, let's, uh, I'll crack her open and show you what I've upgraded. Alright, so, uh, I'm no, uh, like, computer, uh, genius when it comes to the older stuff, but these, uh, old XP machines are pretty darn easy to upgrade and work on. Uh, first big thing I, I upgraded... Uh, was I put a 500 watt um, anti -power, new power supply? So it's a modern power supply. It's the newest and most expensive component in here, because the old uh, 300 watts wasn't quite enough to run the excuse me the GPU the graphics card there, um, which we'll go over right now. It is a uh, ATI Radeon uh, a uh, sorry X800 XL. It's a 256 megabyte. Uh, graphics card and I chose it because uh, I wanted to run Doom 3 and that's like if you want to run it on decent settings that's about the card you need um, this is actually the third uh, X800 XL I had before I got a working one first one I ordered on eBay for I think 30 bucks and the fan didn't work and the seller was really cool um, and he had a spare one and he sent me another one while I was waiting for the second card to come in, because the fan just wouldn't work at all, um, a local dude was selling old computer components from just about every age. Um, and he had uh, a spare one, and I think I got it off him for about five bucks, and I swapped the fan uh, fans on them, and uh, and it's a completely working uh, card now. It works great. fan works great. Other thing I upgraded... Uh, was the the RAM? It has the stock machine had 512 megabytes of uh, of RAM, and I upgraded it with another gigabyte and a half, so it's up to two gigs, which is plenty of RAM for any games of this era. Uh, everything else is pretty much stock on this thing. Like it's it's got the uh, the Athlon 3400 plus in there, uh, which has just been able to tackle pretty much anything I've been able to throw at it. It's not like the best processor for this era, but uh, for a, 
a stock e machines processor it, it's been tackling all the games pretty darn well um the only other uh, things i ran into issue wise was you know you need drivers for all this stuff so i had to go online on my modern computer go find the old drivers put them on usb and uh, install them into this guy um anybody who builds a lot of legacy computers knows how much of a pain in the butt it is for drivers and stuff especially when i don't really want to connect this to the internet to get them the only other thing i want to upgrade with this in the future is a uh i want to install a new sound card so i get some better sound of this because the stock sound is fine but uh it'd just be fun to pimp this thing out with a fancy uh sound blaster and get some some good stuff going on uh, I'll uh, boot up the computer and I'll show you a demo of how uh, Doom 3 looks on this thing because that's what I really built it for and uh, let's check it out. Alright, so we'll just waiting for this thing to boot up. I'll go on a little bit of more of a rant. Just got it all hooked up back there. Um, neat thing, this computer desk, uh, when we bought this house, um, this was the only thing that the uh, previous owners left. It was in the garage. And I'm like, I'm never going to use this thing. I'm thinking how to get rid of it. Like, it was... Not in amazing shape, but uh, hey, I found a use for it now that I've uh, set up this legacy computer, so cool beans on that. Um, what inspired me to make this bad boy, or upgrade my old family computer, uh, big fan of, you know, the, all those big uh, retro PC uh, YouTube channels, like LGR and uh, even uh, Metal Jesus Rocks has some old computer stuff and uh, builds that they've, uh, they've done, and it just really piqued my interest about getting into some legacy gaming. And uh, once I upgraded this, ooh, you gotta love that sound. Once I upgraded this, uh, kind of a bug took hold of me. Now I have all these projects started for computers. Um, I just got this new old stock, uh, beautiful white case that I'm gonna be making a Windows uh, 98 build. And I've got all my Windows 98 software ready to go. There's the this upgrade, and I think I've got second edition. There's Windows 98. Where is that second edition? Then you have upgrade. Hold on. We're getting there. Oh. Yeah, there's my second edition. Uh, this is all stuff from my parents, uh, you know, uh, office area that I looted from them. All the old software and stuff. I've got some I've got Windows XP and a bunch of other stuff that I've used. And yeah, it's a bit of a sickness, but you know. Once you start, you can't stop. This is all computer crap I picked up uh, along the way. And I've got this little care package going to a buddy. Uh, it's basically a complete Windows 95 uh, computer ready to go. Um, I just decided on, uh, due to space, you know, not building a million computers. So this guy, I love that it shows what the uh, processor's uh, going at down there. They got the old turbo button, of course. And uh, he's going to have a lot of fun building this guy. Um, but Windows 98 is uh, basically DOS anyway, so it can run all the, the games that Windows 95 could. So that's where I'm going with that. And the Lord knows where I'm going to put it. Kind of running out of room here. All right, back to the system at hand. And you got to love how this shows up on camera. And one thing I want to point out is uh, I wanted to make sure I was using a ball mouse. Um... Just because back in, you know, uh, the years that I was using this computer, that's what we had. And it just feels, it feels right with this era of a computer. They did have laser mice, of course, but something feels great about using the ball there. And then it wants me to do some updates and stuff, but that's not happening. Let's uh, get Doom 3 running here. Let's do a quick demo here. Oh, it's yelling at me with the disc. That's awkward. Hold one second. All right, thanks for bearing with me. Um, now that the disc is actually in the computer, um, it runs really great on this computer. Man, I wish back in 2005 when we had this thing that uh, that I could have had the money and know how to upgrade the, the family computer to play this kind of stuff. I'm actually pretty darn far into the game. Just got to hell. Fun times. Uh, it's it's a bit of an infectious bug, like I was saying. Once you start building uh, these things, and like this one went so flawlessly, 
um, to set up and get running that uh, that I'm kind of hooked. You, obviously, I'm big into retro gaming and stuff, and consoles are great. You know, just to plug and play the things and not have to tinker with anything or find drivers or do any baloney. But it feels really good getting this guy all set up. Let's get some lights off and get some proper... The game runs absolutely fantastically. It's, it's coming in very choppy on the camera, but I assure you it's pretty silky smooth on the, uh, on the system. I had a lot of fun with this build, and I am so psyched to be able to play Doom 3 uh, like I would have in 2005. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'm going to go slay some demons. Cheers.